welcome to the lecture series of number system and codes in our last class we have learned the conversion rules from binary octal and hexadecimal number system to corresponding decimal number system and vice versa but in today's class we will be learning the conversion techniques among those three number system means binary octal and hexadecimal number system this time we will not convert to or from decimal number system or we can say we will bypass the decimal number system so let's get started the first conversion is from binary to octal so neither of the number systems is decimal number system so the example which we will be solving here the one number is given in binary number system and we have we will convert that number into its equivalent octal number system so before that we will see what is the relationship between a binary number system and octal number system here we know that in octal number system we have a total eight digits from zero to seven and uh, eight digits means eight we know if we represent in the form of binary number system base means 2 so it can be written as 2 to the power q so here the base is 2 which is the base of binary number system and power is 3 that means if the digits of octal number system we want to represent in binary number system then the total number of bits that we will require is 3 and that's why from 0 to 7 these digits we have represented here with the help of three bits so from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 next what we will do is we will group the digits of the given number in binary number system and this time in each group we will consider three bits and why three bits because we have seen this relationship where uh, 8 is equal is equal to 2 to q so an octal number if we want to represent or uh, the digits that we have in octal number system from 0 to 7 if we want to represent in binary number system then the number of bits that we need is 3 so that's why in each group we will be considering here 3 bits so and for integer part when we will group we will start from lsb list significant bit and gradually we will move towards msb and for the fractional part we will start from msb and gradually we will move towards lsb so this will be our direction of movement so in the first group we will consider these three bits then in the second group we will consider then these three bits and now we may be a bit surprised that we are left with two bits so what we will do what we will do is we will add one zero at the leftmost side of that integer part and since this is integer value so towards left at the leftmost side if we add zero or how many zeros we are adding that doesn't create any difference to the value of that integer part so we can easily combine or group these three bits and now if we come to the fractional part of that given number we will start from the msb then we will group these three bits first then we will group these three bits now we are left with only one bit which is one so what we'll do is since this is a fractional part so here at the rightmost side if we add zeros how many zeros we are adding again that doesn't matter that will not create in difference to the to the value of that fractional part so easily we can group these three bits now what we will do next is we will we will take the octal equivalent of the digits of in every group so here one 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 for one 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 in the binary number system the octal equivalent is seven so here the octal equivalent will be 7 now the next group is 0 1 0 in the next group we have these three bits so 0 1 0 is uh, this and octal equivalent is 2 now again in the next group we have 0 1 0 so the octal equivalent will be 2 now if we come to the fractional part in the first group we have 0 1 1 these three bits of the binary number system so 0 1 1 means the octal equivalent is 3 next in the next group we have 0 1 0 we have already seen that 0 for 0 1 0 the octal equivalent is 2 next is 1 0 0 for 100 the octal equivalent is 4 
that means the octal equivalent number of the number which is given in binary number system that number will be 227 decimal point 324 so this is the octal equivalent i hope you have found this technique easy next we will continue with octal to binary number system and this time we have taken this example so this example in as we can see on the left side the number which is given that is in octal number system and we have to find the equivalent number in binary number system and if we look at the digits closely in the octal number system all the digits are between 0 and 7 only now again we will see the relationship between octal and binary number system and this time we will convert every digit in octal number system to its to its binary equivalent so if we start we can start from anywhere from least significant bit to most significant bit or vice versa so if we start from 7 the from most significant bit of the integer part then for 7 the binary equivalent is 111 so we will write 111 this is for 7 then for 4 the binary equivalent is what 100 so we will write 100 then 6 for 6 we have we are seeing here the binary equivalent is 110 so we will write 110 then the decimal point then for 4 for the fractional part if we start from here then for 4 the binary equivalent is 100 0. 0. then for 2 the binary equivalent is 010 0, 0. and for 1 the binary equivalent is 0, 0, 001 so now the complete number in the binary number system will be 111 then 100 110.100010 and then 001 here we don't have any zero at the leftmost side of the integer part or at the rightmost side of the fractional part so the number that we have obtained here that will be the final answer and this number is the binary equivalent of the number which is given in octal number system next we will convert from binary to hexadecimal and for that this is our example for that we will see what is the relationship between binary number system and hexadecimal number system since this time it is hexadecimal means 16 here the digits that will be that we will have in that number system is from 0 to 15 total 16 digits and we know in case of hexadecimal number system after 9 the 10 is mapped with a accordingly 11 b then c d e and the 15 is mapped with f now 16 if we if we map this with binary number system now if we take the base 2 the radix value 2 then what will the power power will be 4 that means to represent to fit all those digits in hexadecimal number system in binary number system we need 4 bits and that's why the technique that we have seen previously for octal number system the same technique we will be applying only difference will be this time since it is hexadecimal number system and for that in the binary number system we need four bits so here when we will be grouping the bits of the number in binary number system this time in each group we will be having four bits and this time also for the integer part we will start from lsb and then gradually we will move towards msb so this will be our first group in this group we have four bits then this will be our second group and in the third group or for third group we are left with only two bits so what we will do is the same thing what we did for octal number system we will add two more bits here at the leftmost side of that integer value then this will be our third group then we will proceed with our fractional part where we will start our journey from here msb then this will be our first group and then we are left with three bits so we will be adding one more zero here at the rightmost side of that fractional part so this will be our second group we will take the hexadecimal equivalent of the number or of the bits that we have in each group so here 0 1 1 1 so we will find the hexadecimal equivalent from this relationship 
zero one 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 the hexadecimal equivalent is seven next one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one here we have the hexadecimal equivalent is nine then we have zero zero one zero so zero zero one zero means the hexadecimal equivalent is two fine then we will come to the fractional part here in the first group we have zero one one zero so zero one one zero the hexadecimal equivalent is six next we have one zero one zero so here one zero one zero the hexadecimal equivalent is a so the equivalent number in the hexadecimal number system will be two nine seven point six a next we will convert a number from hexadecimal number systems to binary number system and this is the number that we will be converting a b c point five d and that we will be converting to binary number system and again we will we will see the relationship between hexadecimal and binary number system so here what we will do the way we did for octal to binary number system conversion so here if we start from the leftmost side then the binary equivalent of a is binary equivalent of a is 1010 so first we will write that number 1010 then for b the binary equivalent is 1011 so we will write that number 1011 then for c the binary equivalent is 1100 so this will be in the next group 1100 then we have the decimal point and then after decimal point the number is the digit is 5 so the binary equivalent is 0101 so that we will be writing 0101 then the next number is d for d the binary equivalent is 1101 so that we will be writing 1101 and here, here we can see that at the leftmost or rightmost side of that number we don't have any zero so this will be the final answer and this is the number equivalent number in binary number system next one is interesting that is from octal to hexadecimal number system and we are skipping the decimal number system we are bypassing that so this is the example that we will be solving that we will be converting so this number is given in octal number system here every digit is within 0 to 7 only and that number we will be converting to hexadecimal number system so here the rule is first we will convert the octal number system to its equivalent binary and then from binary to we will convert to hexadecimal number system this is one of the techniques and i hope you will find again this technique uh, easy so what we will do we will first we will prepare the chart uh, the relationship between octal and binary and hexadecimal and binary so first from octal to binary we will convert so for three the binary equivalent is what the binary equivalent is 0 1 1 so we will be writing that 0 1 1 then for 7 the binary equivalent is 1 1 1 so here 1 1 1 then for 6 it is 1 1 0 so we will be writing that number in the binary number system 1 1 0 then 2 2 means 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 then we have the decimal point then 5 5 4 so for 5 it is 1 0 1 then we have again 5 so it will be 1 0 1 and then we have 4 so 4 means 1 0 0 this is the number equivalent number in binary number system now from here we have to convert to hexadecimal number system and we know the rule from binary to hexadecimal how we can convert so for that what we have to do we have to create group of four bits so we will for the integer part we will start from lsb and in each group we will take four bits so this will be our first group of first four bits and we are starting from lsb then this is our second group this is third now if we take the fractional part then this will be our first group and then this will be our second group and we are left with one more zero which is at the rightmost position of this fractional part so this will not contribute anything and we don't need to create any more group with this zero bit so we'll stop here only now we will convert this binary digits to its their corresponding hexadecimal digits now 
if we start from here then 0 1 1 1 and we can see here its corresponding hexadecimal value is 7 then 1 1 1 1 4 ones means definitely the dust value and that is f 0 0 1 0 is 2 in hexadecimal number system then we have in the fractional part 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 means b and then the next group has 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 we will find and that is 6 0 1 1 0 so the equivalent number in hexadecimal number system will be 7 f 2 point b 6 next we will convert from hexadecimal to octal number system and this is the number that we have in hexadecimal number system so let's convert this now this is the relationship between octal and binary and this is the between hexadecimal and binary that we have seen before and now what we will do is this hexadecimal number will be converted to its corresponding binary number system. Now all the digits in this number are from A to F only. So in this hexadecimal number system this is our A and this is our F. So we will be writing the corresponding binary digits. Next what we will do is since this time we will be converting to octal number system. So we will create group of three digits and we have to now convert to its corresponding octal so if we start from here then 0 0 1 0 0 1 means this one so we'll be writing one here then 0 1 0 0 1 0 means 2 then 1 0 1 1 0 1 means 5 then we have 1 1 1 definitely the last number which is 7 in this number system 0 0 1 0 0 1 we have already written once that is 1 then we have 1 0 1 one zero one means five that also we have written once then one 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 seven and then zero one one zero one one means three and then one one zero one one zero means six so the equivalent number in the octal number system will be one two five seven one five point seven three six so i hope you have learned this conversion techniques in the next class we will be learning about binary addition subtraction multiplication and division till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you